Hey guys, in today's video I am going to talk about 5 of the very simple tricks by which you would be able to get massive flowering on your petunia plants. Like as always I am going to start the video with planting some of my petunia plants and I am going to end the video with lots of blooms. And this way you are going to see everything that I do for my plants to get lots of blooms. So please make sure to watch the entire video. Okay so the number one tip. See the most important thing that we need is a good container. For petunias we don't need any container which is much deeper, instead we need container which is much wider than the depth. And that's the reason why I am selecting a container which is some kind of Alibaba kind of pot as you can see and it's near about 14 inches wider and depth is only about 8 inches. The second tip would be growing more than a single plant in one container. This is the same thing that most of the nurseries do and by doing this you would be able to make your pot look much fuller in a very short time. The third important thing that we need is good potting soil mix and for that I am doing it this way. I am using 40% of normal garden soil and please note that my soil is already a bit sandy. Next 20% of cocoa peat and last 40% of vermicompost. I am also adding near about 50 grams of bone meal to the potting soil mix. However, please note that if your container is not big like me, that time you don't want to use 50 grams of bone meal at once. Instead, you can use maximum 25 grams. Next, I am just going to report my petunia plants and I hope you can just follow me. So guys this is the final result after 60 days and I am truly hoping that you are liking the end result. Now please note that I am not going to talk too much details on petunia plant care because I already have one other video on petunias where I have discussed most of the important things. For this video my aim was to give you 5 straightforward tips so that you can get maximum flowers on your petunias. The fourth important thing is to fertilize your plants the right way. It's always a good idea to fertilize your petunia plants once in 15 days or at least once in 30 days. I use liquid mustard cake fertilizer but if you don't want to use it you can definitely use either NPK 191919 or even the DAP. 
anyway very soon i am going to upload one more video and there i am going to show you how easily you can prepare the liquid mustard cake fertilizer and please trust me if you are into organic gardening you are going to love using the mustard cake fertilizer the second fertilizer which i mostly use is the micronutrients and this time i decided to use the micronutrients from the trash basket if you want to use the similar product then you can take 4 grams in 1 liter water and then spray your plants once in 20 to 30 days please note that 4 grams should be a bit less than 1 teaspoon 1 teaspoon is almost equal to 5 grams I know that there is one more tip remaining, so let's discuss about that. See, if you are expecting lots of blooms on your petunia plants, then there is one more important thing that you need to do on a regular basis. It's the deadheading. Deadheading means simply removing the already spent blooms. It's really very very important thing and I would recommend you to deadhead the blooms whenever you see that it's already faded. You don't have to wait until and unless the bloom is completely wilted. Just deadhead it as soon as you see it's already faded and that way the plant is going to produce more blooms. If you don't deadhead your petunia plants, they are going to start producing the seed pods and eventually they are going to stop blooming. So just remove the faded blooms as soon as you spot them. Let me give you one bonus tip here. See always rotate the pot so that the plants grow in a uniform way. As you can see I am getting less blooms on this side so I am going to rotate the pot again so that I get some more blooms on this side as well. And you can keep rotating your pot let's say once in 10 to 15 days. So guys these were the 5 very simple tips and if you follow this I guarantee you that you are going to get maximum blooms on your petunia plants. But other than that, definitely you should also care for your plants properly, like you should water your plants at the right time and provide enough sunlight. If you found the video useful, please do me a favor, please like the video, share it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and many many thanks for doing that. I will be back with many more flowering plants as I have way too many plants to share with you. Thank you very much for watching the video. I truly appreciate it. Have a great day and pink. enjoy. Okay. This one is so small, guys. This one is pink. We do like that. Okay. Not fair, okay. Now I'm cleaning.